I wanted to make a tensioner for the clutch cable on my tractor that would allow me to compensate for the slow stretching that typically happens on a cable and also that would uh, just make it easy to uh, incrementally uh, tighten the cable in, in small in small increments um, because obviously when 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 the the clutch pedal is up you want the uh, plates on the clutch to be fully engaged uh, and when you depress the clutch cable you want the uh, plates to be just far enough apart that uh, they're not touching if the if the clutch cable is is too tight then you risk getting slippage uh, even when the clutch pedal is up so I was thinking about ways of uh, of uh, just doing a DIY tensioner with parts at the hardware store and surprisingly enough found that uh, there just don't appear to be any YouTubes or instructables on this quite easy method that I came up with and uh, so I'd like to share it. It involves using lamp parts. Uh, all hardware stores have these special lamp parts uh, that have been around for, I mean, decades, going all the way back really to the 20s. Uh, the key being that uh, you need to have a threaded piece like this uh, that the uh, power cable can, can go up through the middle of. So the idea is really very, very simple. If I put my, first of all, let me put two nuts on the end of this little piece of hardware, like so. And then if you run the cable up through the middle, you can then take Another part that you can get at any hardware store that is also a lamp part and it will fit over that threaded piece. So now what you have is just a very simple straightforward way of increasing the tension on your cable. We're assuming there's some sort of a stop right here. Uh, by tightening this nut, which of course will move this piece in that direction. And then of course you would want to have a second nut to lock the first one. That is the basic, I that's the basic idea. And in fact, oh actually, you know, I put the wrong length on here, this right here would be the appropriate length for this threaded tube. But what's nice is if you need longer play, if you need more adjustability, you can simply use a longer threaded piece. This happened to be the longest one available at my local hardware store. I suspect longer are available perhaps at other hardware stores or, or over the interweb. And then you would place a longer steel tube over that piece. Um, it may be less expensive actually to just purchase a one foot length of tube of the appropriate diameter and uh, cut the length that you need. Um, I wasn't able to find a piece of steel tube uh, in the lamp parts department, so to speak, uh, that was as long as this threaded piece. But I, for my purposes, don't need this much adjustability. This one right here is going to be 
just fine. So I'll go ahead and stop uh, now and once I have this on the tractor uh, I'll uh, shoot a little bit more video so you can see it uh, in place. Thanks.